Welcome to Fishing with Steve D. Well, today I have got some very, very important news. Major, major changes in red claw fishing in Queensland, and we're going to be breaking it right down in this video right now. Here we go, folks. A few more flippers. Getting a bit bigger. That's a. That's great. Let's get a few more. Guys, this is the latest on the 17th of December 2021. This is the natural red claw water. So if you're fishing in the green here, you need to only take 40 per person in your possession at any one time. All the females with berries or with eggs and the young have to be returned to the water. Now if you're outside this, um, there is no limit on red claw and uh, it, the fisheries recommend that you take only uh, 40 per person in natural waters and you do not return them to the water in unnatural waters so if you're outside the green it, the fisheries are saying not to put the red claw back into the water including the females with eggs with berries uh, and also the young now if you're on the uh, northeast coast um, it's very similar to the east coast rules that you're not allowed to return any red claw to the water including the females with eggs and the young um, it's only in natural waters you must return the red claw to the water is a big rule change uh, this uh, from the Great Dividing Range all the way up to the tip of uh, Queensland here in the green east of the range you are only allowed to use five centimeter rings in all rivers on the east side of the range. Now, if you're on the west side of the range, you can use up to uh, five to 10 centimeter. So you can use up to 10 centimeter rules, uh, rings on the uh, funnel pots. Um, now on the east side, you're only allowed to use the five centimeter rings in any rivers because of the platypus. Um, and I think this is a good thing that is gonna protect uh, platypus and turtles and uh, so just remember uh, southeast of Gundawindi right down the bottom there see how it tucks under a little bit it's a bit tricky there so if you're southeast of Gundawindi it's actually a green if you're fishing uh, lakes and dams you can use up to 10 centimeter rings that is different to the rivers I thought I'd just throw this in this is out of the uh, Queensland Fisheries rule book now it states that you do not need a SIPS permit if you are 100% only red claw fishing you only need a SIPS permit when you are fishing with a fishing line with bait or with a lure you're allowed to use uh, traps with a maximum of four entrances so if you've got any more than four entrances you can't use them and uh, they must have between five centimeters and up to 10 centimeters in the lakes, dams, impoundments only. Now again, I will repeat, if you are fishing the river system, you need to have a pot that has a five centimeter, no bigger than five centimeter entrances in the rings. That is the biggie in the new rule changes. So let's have a look at these pots uh, that we're doing. Now, fisheries have had a look at these up in Townsville and they have commented they are very good, strong and, uh, pots and they really did like the construction. They can see that they're well made. Um, and you can continue to use these pots that we do um, in the lakes and impoundments, which 99% of people who are red chlorine will be in lakes dams and empowerments however the big thing that you will need to take notice of is if you're going to be using these in rivers uh, particularly any rivers on the east side you're going to need to have the smaller five centimeter rings in these pots now I'm going to look into making a few with the smaller five centimeter rings so we can cater for both markets so stay tuned for that guys that may take a little time to do um, but I'm going to look into that also with these pots you don't have to have your street number on there just put on your surname street name and suburb 
On the fixed end of the float, surname only on a tag. On the float, same as the pot. Okay, so this is how flat they are. They are fully collapsible and they are so flat. So you can stack um, four of them on top of each other. You're allowed four of these pots per person. Well, just pulled the pot out. And she is absolutely loaded. It is chockers. These pots certainly do the trick. There would have to be over a hundred in that pot. Without a doubt. And there's some big ones in there too. So there's a nipper on that one. I'm guessing probably 150, 200 in there. Big fella, are you? Hey, well, that pot does the trick, mate. Look at that, the bottom is just black from red claw. That is cool. All right, I'm going home and count them. Strong rings, good aluminium struts, so they're definitely worth um, the extra money because they'll last a lifetime, guys. Uh, now these rings are facing upwards so that when the red claw walks in them um, They fall in and they can't get back out because the rings are upwards and that's a very very important feature there um, and uh, Yeah, I don't think you need uh, To put gutter guard on these because they walk straight in there. They're so Mesh is so taut and so good. So there we have it guys Okay, so here's the hook here so we just unclip that and that comes out and what that does that opens it up okay guys that's what it's like when it's all uh, put up nice and sturdy they walk up the entrances here the rings are facing up so when they fall in they can't go back out again very important that those rings are folded up or facing up and very very strong rope Tie it on there you with your boy six inch float you got to have a six inch float on it and uh, but if you're on the bank just put them on the base because then uh, the rope will pull it in properly if you put it up the top it'll actually um, go like that and uh, get fouled up if it goes uh, on an angle uh, you don't want it getting snagged so that's a good tip is to, if you're off the bank, put on the rope on the bottom. If you're in the boat, tie it up here. Um, so it pulls it up straight up like that. So uh, really, really good, strong aluminium struts, um, totally collapsible, flat as. Now guys, I've got to talk to you about, uh, somebody said it doesn't matter how many red claw if they're in plague proportions it doesn't matter what trap you're going to use well sorry i'm not going to mention the guy who said this comment but he's incorrect you don't have to be a rocket scientist to realize that these have got four entrances not two so they've got double double the entrances so you work it out you don't have to be a rocket scientist to realize that these have got double the entrances twice as many uh, entrances and what we're finding wait till you have a look at this footage that I'm going to put towards the end of the video you'll see how well they work um, they are catching at least double or not if not more than the cheap pots so they are well worth the extra investment they're um, extra heavy duty
Well guys, if you're not a member of NQ Red Claw Yabbies Australia Facebook page, do yourselves a favor and check it out guys because you will learn everything there is about red claw fishing or yabbies. Anything to do with yabbies will be also on this page because it's an Australia wide page and it's got so much information guys. So check it out, NQ Red Claw Yabbies Australia Facebook page. Do yourselves a favor and check it out and join today. Well, just pulled the pot out. The sheet is absolutely loaded. It is chockers. These pots certainly do the trick. There would have to be over a hundred in that pot. Without a doubt. And there's some big ones in there too. So there's a nipper on that one. I'm guessing we 150, 200 in there. There's a big fella here. Hey. Well that pot does the trick mate. Look at that, the bottom is just black from red claw. That is cool. Alright, go home and count them. Well guys, I hope you really liked that video about the major, major changes in the rules for red claw fishing in Queensland. Now, do yourselves a favour, jump on the Fisheries Queensland website and Facebook page and get familiar with what I've just spoken about and uh, the new rules in your area because different areas are going to change. So make sure you are up to date with the latest rule changes uh, in your area and your district. I'm Fisherman Steve D. Until next time, God bless.